If you could give any advice to like a new girl, like just coming into the industry, what would what do you think you would tell them? I know this is gonna sound like super hippy dippy, but like get a therapist. I don't disagree with you. I have a therapist. She's fucking awesome. And I don't think you need to have any sort of mental issue to need a therapist. I think it I think you're right. I think it's really great to have somebody to bounce Mm-hmm. Like your issues off of because we all have issues. We all oh, have yeah. insecurities, and sometimes you need to talk to somebody like outside of your circle who Not isn't in directly personally connected to you, has no like vested interest in the decisions that you make in your life, to yeah. just like like t- bring you back down and talk yeah. some sense into you. Because when we get inside our own heads, we tell ourselves lies so all the time shit. and bullshit, and yeah. we really talk ourselves down because we're our own worst critics and. It can get really dangerous. Yeah. In here. Yes. It's the most dangerous place. And especially with so many critics with such mm-hmm. loud voices. Yes. You know, it's really important that we really keep our feet down where they belong on the ground and yeah. we stand strong in ourselves and say, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. I don't care how much money you throw at me. Don't want to do that. Yeah. And I don't feel like. Girls feel like they have that place, despite the fact that you said, and I agree, that the industry is moving towards a direction where you do have a place. Mm -hmm. These girls don't believe they do. Yeah, they don't believe they have a voice. They don't believe they have a choice. Yeah, and now more than ever, they have a voice and a choice, especially with everything that's going on in mainstream Hollywood. Yeah, You know what I mean? We are at our prime right now for women in general, just being strong and independent and outspoken about their boundaries. Uh, this This is our time. And, you know, they got to take advantage though. They yeah. got to, they got to utilize that. Yeah. And, um, so I feel like, you know, as a new girl, I think it's, I think it's good to have, I would say weekly, just especially if you're shooting a lot because mm-hmm. so many different things can happen in different sets. Mm-hmm. I would say just go talk to somebody. Now, one issue that has come up that people have been talking about, and I know this is something that August talked to me about when I had her on my podcast, was about how she was having a hard time finding a therapist that she felt was like a sex-positive therapist. She felt judged by therapists. Um, Have you ever had that situation where, I mean, my therapist is great, though I had to go through a lot of them to find the one that I liked. I got a really expensive one, so I mean, (laughs) she didn't really have a place to have a judgment because of how much money. She was also... Um, I mean, she. I think she was psychologist and hypnotherapist. Mm-hmm. So her level of accreditation was mm-hmm. super up there. I love hypnotherapy, by the way. That changed everything. Oh, I kind of want to try it. I had Derek Pierce on here, and he told me that he went to a hypnotherapist to help him faster in scenes, and it totally worked. Whoa. He said that it would take him like twenty minutes sometimes to to pop, and mm-hmm. now like it takes him like three minutes max. Boom. And it was from going to. Hypnotherapist. That's dope. How crazy is that? So mine was to deal with PTSD. Okay. Because I have I have pretty good PTSD. It's pretty strong in there. Okay. Um, and I have so I have anxiety. I have a hard time sleeping. Mm -hmm. Um, and I and I frequently in the middle of the day I'll find myself worried about the sleep I'm going to get the night the next night because my sleep is so bad Mm -hmm. and I'm so sensitive to a bad night of sleep it ruins everything and then Mm -hmm. I get anxious because I have so much I have to do and I know I'm not going to get sleep and I'm thinking about a week and ahead Mm -hmm. um, because my anxiety I it's almost like I have this anxiety from past things that I can't I can't function yeah um so it was really just to alleviate a lot of anxiety. And now I have like this whole herbal re- regimen that I'm on. It's amazing. I love it. Um, but I also realized it's all connected, but that hypnosis was uh, integral part. Inter- integral. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. How, how many yep. times have you done it? Um, well, I went for months and I would go. And you would get it done once like- a week. Oh, okay. Um, so now I've down, I've downgraded myself because right. I'm, I'm in a much better place now. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, you know, see somebody normal. Mm-hmm. Um, but as far as like finding somebody who's judgmental, um, I think it doesn't matter what you do or who you are. I feel like finding the right fit for a therapist. It's not a one size fits all. Yeah, and it's you're gonna have. It's gonna take time to find the one that you like. Yeah, I whether agree. or not we're in our industry. I think that I think that a lot of people will go and see. I know this was the way for me at the beginning. I'd go and see a therapist, and I just wouldn't like them, and I'd be like, oh. This therapy is not right for me, right? But it's not I, therapy; it's the therapist, right? Exactly. Yep. And and it took me. I went through quite a few, 
Um, and I finally found one that I really, really like, and she's amazing. But it took me a while. Yeah. So I think it's important that people know that they you can like you can not like a therapist. You can fire your therapist. You can find somebody else. Yeah. Well, I think it's it's really important to note that there's a big difference between the therapist that you're seeing and therapy in general. Yeah. There's so many different techniques to therapy. Yeah. And it is so custom that you really don't settle. Don't yeah. settle. This is your mental health. This is it, this is. I mean, absolutely irreplaceable. You yeah. can't live without your mental health, as we have unfortunately seen a lot. Yeah. Um, and, you know, in our industry, we're under attack from our own families, from our friends, um, from our, our old lifestyle. Everything is rearranged and altered when we come into this industry. Yeah. And I just, I feel like, especially being so young, I was, I was 18 turning 19 when I started. So young, so impressionable. They say that's an adult. It's not. Yeah. <laughs> Me at eighteen, I was not an no, adult. Absolutely not. No. So no. I feel like I feel like I would have done a lot better for myself um, had I if I had one. Yeah. And I mean, better for myself, not career wise, because that that did its own thing. But yeah. Um, Right. So I, that's why I thought it was really important for me to come back now that I found that balance because Tori is okay. There's nothing wrong with Tori. I just yeah. need to make sure I have both. Yeah. I just need both. That's incredible. That's yeah. I don't think I've ever heard anybody really explain it that way, but that makes a lot of sense. Well, it's 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 for, it's an entire uh self-view alteration. Like yeah. I just um especially with how difficult it is for people that you love to digest what you do, especially mm-hmm. when your career takes off. It wasn't even just like a like a little, I did a couple scenes. It was like, poof, Tori yeah. became a person. 